built for this. They've showed it all season long. The summer is the time to rest, so leave it all on the line now. Golden State is gone two of two at the perimeter. Ooh, stolen by Allen. Garland with the ball. Now guarded by Curry. Garland, no good. This one for three. And the Warriors with another three. Effortless way, Stephen Curry shoots three-point shots is a sight to behold. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Garland, no good. Boy, just one for four. A little brisky right now. It is long range. Nails it from beyond the arc. Wow. <laughs> Their opponent is doing a tremendous job spacing the floor. Garland, the pass to Allen. <coughs> Outside Mitchell. Back to Allen. Looking to win the run. And it's out of bounds to Cleveland. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. Yeah, this is the elevated energy level you expect in the postseason. Chasing down blocks and making an impact. First quarter, just about two minutes in. Golden State has gone four for four so far from three-point land. Impressive. That one from long range. That's it for release. That's a thumbnail for me. Look at this. Oh my god, that graphics. Curry's got 12 points in the game. Impressive. Five straight makes. Love the play calling here. Timeout call, the Cavaliers. Man, it's been quite a game for Stephen Curry. Yeah, I think they've got to be talking about just guarding him a little more tightly on the perimeter. Or keep the ball out of his hands as much as possible, period. That's about the only way you're going to cool this guy off. Mobley against Leonard. Garland with the ball. Pass to Allen. Six on the shot clock from deep. Mobley. The Warriors pull it in. And here in the first, approaching three minutes play. Curry. That's good. And their offense looking like a well oiled machine. Cleveland has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Garland, the pass to Mobley. Curry against Garland. And there's the rejection. Takes a three. And the Warriors with another three. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Warriors. Well, so far, they've been immensely aggressive on the defensive side, denying easy shots, and it's made a difference a in the game. You know, also, they've been incredible on the fast break, taking those chances, playing with great pace. Marketing finds Curry. Now here's Poole. The three. Oh and that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Mitchell against Poole. Outside Mitchell. Let's go with a three. He can't hit that time. And Golden State will come the other way. Come on, step back. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. And early on, they've been on a tear, just getting whatever they want offensively. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip, and guys are making their shots. That's critical. Okay, I go play defense. Here we go. Play tight. And Mitchell with the slam. Well, the dribble drive game of Donovan go, Mitchell defense, keeps defenders go. guessing. Well, go. you've got to deal with here every go. aspect of an Nothing. offensive arsenal with this guy. Curry gets the bucket. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. The three from Mitchell. 
Warriors with the rebound. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Their ability to space the floor has been the story of this game. And what surprises me is the defense hasn't done anything to take away that three-point shot. That has been their preferred weapon tonight. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Curry. Cleveland calls timeout. Trying anything now to get them out of this slump. Just feels like the basket is looking awfully small to them right now. They're having a hard time getting anything to fall. And the new group getting ready for the Cavaliers. Kaminsky, he's checked in for Jared Allen. Baisley comes in for Evan Mobley. Wade, he's checked in for Donovan Mitchell. And Conley subbed in for Darius Garland. Wide open. And Kaminsky gets it to go on the assist by Conley. There's a reason Mike Conley's teammates love playing with him. If you're oh, that is oh, wow. Unreal. Are you kidding me? Wow. Unreal. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Now here's Conley. Here's Baisley. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. Quick off the floor and fluid in everything he does. There is Baisley. That was impressive. And that one's good. Cool. All five of the last buckets they've given up have been from downtown. Curry against Conley. Out left to the wing. Wade. No good on the three. And it's the Warriors with the ball. Pass to Bowl. And it drops. And it comes off an assist from Curry. Curry's got his third assist of the night. They've been very effective so far. A balanced attack. Let's see the wild see Curry first time. Curry did what Curry did. What Curry did. He did their pass. And they better made it. And then he did all oh, he is taunting. He did a semi semi. He did a semi semi. Oh, 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 another semi. At his best. On the offensive end, it feels like they're getting the shots they want. And defensively, they are connected and on a string. Here's Baisley. Three oh, second he... difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And stolen by oh, Leonard. Oh, cool. Cool for three. And the Warriors with another three. And for so many teams in the NBA, establishing the three-point shot is goal number one on offense. He's definitely doing his part tonight. No doubt it's a great trend, Greg, and he is highly accurate tonight. Hey, nice work attracting the foul from deep. He'll shoot three. And he's good on the first of three. And he's good on the second. Taking three shots. And he nails the third. I got this. Yeah. And a deep three from Curry. Yeah. Oh, and he oh, just oh, knocks oh, down oh, the oh, buzzer beater. Oh, 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 what a miraculous shot. He's going to remember that one. Listen, under duress of the end of the period, you just throw it up and hope. And so it's the Golden State Warriors with a gigantic 33-point lead at the close of the quarter. Their efficiency has been off the charts. They're running their sets well with patience and purpose. We'll be right back after this word. Fans, give it up for your Warriors Youth Dance Team. And our coverage of Game 7 continues. Intense atmosphere right now. Boy, for the Warriors, this has been the game they've wanted to have. Well, they've really been racking up three-pointers in bunches. They've been so impressive to watch. And that's what has them ahead in this game. Their floor spacing has been just tremendous. On the court for the Cavaliers. They've got Frank Kaminsky, Donovan Mitchell out there with Mike Conley. Then it's Evan Mobley, and it's Wade in at the three. Full shot is off. And here's Conley. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. And that's a foul called on Stephen Curry. That's his first foul. Jared Allen, he's checked in for Cleveland. Darius Garland comes in for Conley. Mobley against Leonard. Now Mobley. Here's Mitchell. And the layup is good off the glass. Mitchell's got his second bucket on the night. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. 
Garland against Curry. Pass to Leonard. Misses the three. Cleveland shooting just 35% from the floor. Mitchell, the pass to Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. And this is why guys love playing with Donovan Mitchell. Can he score it? Yes. But he loves to set his teammates up. And that one's good. Cool. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Now here's Leonard. He's got six. An absolute bomb from three-point range. Leonard's got his third basket on the night right there. Right wing from deep Mobley. It's rebounded by Golden State. Marketed from long range. Kept alive. Three-pointer. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. Well, you can see this team depends on marketing to space the floor. Delivers with the range three there. Here's Mitchell. Oh, no good. Unable to end this run. Right now trying to get into a rhythm, but so far this quarter, boy, he is struggling to make anything go down. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Now here's Curry. 26 points for him. Leonard, good. They're going to have to pay more attention to him on the perimeter. He's hit four three-pointers already today. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Garland against Curry. Pass to Wade. Over Markkinen. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Yeah, they just can't seem to end the drought no matter where they shoot it from. And I think you can start to feel their frustration mounting. With every missed bucket, it becomes more and more desperate. <laughs> I just love the ball move. Garland for three. Counted from distance. Garland's got five now. Oh, Darius Garland asserting himself. The answer back from distance. Pass to Markkinen. Three. Another three for Golden State. They've been pretty lax with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three-pointers. And here's Mobley. Back to Garland. Here's Wade. Shoots from 14. Mobley, no good. Maybe he rushes that just a little bit. Who knows? But he couldn't have gotten a better look than that. Sinks it from distance. Markin has got nine points now in the quarter. Well, nice job to capitalize right there in an instance where all you got to do is catch and shoot. Here's Wade. Whoa! Getting up and then throwing it down. Oh, that was a big hammer right there. Impressive looks on the AT&T 5G slam cam. Now here's Curry. It's marketed it on the wing. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. He's got 12. He drops yet another dime. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Garland has to Allen. And out of bounds. The Warriors will take it. And real quick, let's check out the field goal percentage leaders in the postseason. The fourth spot held by Jared Allen. Since we started the playoffs, he's been totally locked in offensively, taking and making some good looks. Leonard to three. It goes again. His sixth basket and seven tries. Woo! He's been red hot from three-point range. How long will he keep it up? Right side, Garland. And the Cavaliers get another bucket right there. Well, such confidence on display from Darius Garland. Doesn't waste possessions. Aggressive offensively. Pool for three. Buries it from three. Pool's got... Score. 17 points. It's been a dominant yeah, night for him. Staying productive throughout. Garland, the pass to Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. This is now, like just quick with the decision making. Smart pass by Darius Garland. Pass to Poole from deep three point range. 
Here's Markkinen. And the first one at the line is good. And the Cavaliers will go for a different look here. Kaminsky, he's checked in for Jared Allen. Baisley comes in for Mobley. Okoro is checked in for Wade. And Conley subbed in for Mitchell. And guys, Markin, and there's no question about his offensive talent. His skill set is the perfect match for the way the game's played today. Long target from range. He's finally started to settle down here in the second quarter. Just needed to work up a sweat. Here's Bowl. Oh. And it's good. Fought through good. contact. Hit the shot. And will go to the line. There's 21 seconds left in the second period. Garland against Poole. They get it back. Pass to Baisley. Outside Conley. Second shot opportunity. The shot no good. Boy, again, so little defensive pressure. You have to convert that. Golden State calls timeout. Long range from the inbound. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. And so it's the Golden State Warriors showing no mercy and just... Welcome, everybody. A decisive Game 7 underway, and it's a grim situation for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Well, they're not finding good shots, and that starts with their ball movement. Too much hero basketball. They need to sharpen up the attack. More motion, quick cuts, get the ball inside. There's no way they're coming back with that type of play. Looking at the series breakdown for the Cavaliers. They're right where they want to be in the series, but perhaps a bit of a letdown tonight in the first half, Jet. No maybes, Ernie. Definitely a letdown. They got a little too comfortable. And I'm curious to see how they respond in the second half. This is the finals. Can't give away games. We. Thanks for joining us. Time to head back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. And the energy is palpable in this arena. Welcome back to the NBA Finals on 2K Sports. Stephen Curry having a dominant impact in this game. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far, unstoppable. Johnson is out there with Aaron Gordon. Then there's Gary Payton second. Then it's Dante DiVincenzo. That's the Warriors five. Basket's good. The defense getting out hustled on the putback. Can't let that happen. You have got to put a body on somebody. We talk about it ad nauseum, but you've got to be. Di oh, oh wow. hey, how about that? Jared Allen putting on a show. Get out of his way, folks. It's coming down on your head. Once again, an explosive highlight on the AT&T 5G slam cam. And Cleveland shooting around 39%. They'd like to get that higher. And there's the foul. It'll go on Aaron Gordon. That's his first foul. And we have to take another look at that block. Oh, you could feel the playoff intensity in that block. He's playing some extra aggressive defense out there. Look at that Pass to Okoro. Mobley, a screen on Gordon. Okoro, no good. Golden State has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Here's Peyton. 
sinks it. Hey. What range from downtown. In today's game, you can never afford to get beat in a three-point battle. Floats a runner. Blocked. Hey, and he gets it back. Blocked. Allen with a screen on Gordon. Tries again. <laughs> And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. This guy has got great positional size at the two guard. Isaac Okoro can be challenging to guard. And good on the second, so he makes them both. The Warriors have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. And here's Gordon from the arc. Another three for Golden State. Back-to-back -back threes, making their defense work on the perimeter. A bit. and become a real factor sent in back. A different look for Cleveland. Kaminsky, he's checked in for Jared Allen. Wade comes in for Mitchell. And Okoro is subbed in for Darius Garland. Look at this. I mean, this A minute 20 left in the fourth quarter here. The Cavaliers again cannot hit. Golden State has gone one for five shooting from the arc here in the fourth. That's going to do it for this game. What? These teams, the entire season, what an unbelievable journey. It'll be a hoisting of the Larry O'Brien for the Warriors. And the disparity in the talent was obvious by the end. Sometimes you just don't have enough ammunition to compete. Yeah, B.A., just a total beatdown. And the next time these teams meet, I can't imagine it'll be any different. And on an epic NBA Finals run, they capture the hearts of not just their fans, but basketball fans around the league. An incredible ending to one of the more dramatic finals we've seen. Counter punches thrown between these teams for seven games. We say it often, it's too bad you can have only one winner, but they deserve it. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this Let's team go. to victory was the efficiency for Stephen Curry. This guy putting on a passing clinic. If you want to know how to run an offense, you roll Good. back the tape from the season. On the court for the Cavaliers. We've got Mike Conley. Darius Baisley is out there with Frank Kaminsky. Then there's Isaac Okoro. And it's Wade in at the three, the small forward. Six second difference between the shot clock and game clock. They get it again. Leonard passes to Curry. Oh yes. And it's uh, yes. Uh. Leonard with the assist that time. Curry's got 42 in the game. It's Their whole so crowd has energized them all it's game. So now they're closing it out. Well, for it's all so intents and purposes, this game. Oh, and they've done it! The Golden State Warriors are the new NBA champions! What an incredible ride! Culminating in a championship. What a team! This will go down as one of the great sports moments in the history of this city. And listen to this crowd. Players talk about having to tune out the noise and focus on the task at hand. This is the noise they've been waiting to hear all year long. Absolutely incredible. Look at the guys celebrating, understanding the work, the sacrifice, the discipline that goes into winning a championship in this building. And now we send it to Adam Silver, the commissioner of the NBA, for the trophy presentation. One team has emerged victorious. The NBA champion. Congratulations to the whole organization and, of course, this incredible team. This Larry O'Brien trophy, and I believe this suitcase, are yours. <laughs> the 
your Bill Russell Finals MVP. 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 What an effort from this young man will go down as one of the great finals performances of all time. It's been a great season, and thanks for being along the ride with us the whole way. This is the NBA on 2K Sports. Great performance with the MVP, Curry. Oh, boy. Congrats to all the Golden State Warriors celebrate all night all the Warriors have the championship. Curry is your MVP. Carmelo, he need to be the higher thing. All of favor. Make it some trades.
way back.
Gary Payne. Austin Duke. Give me one. Get on Why a GP to hook I could get Jimmy Butler. I could get Wiggins and Gordon. Jimmy Butler and D Lo making some moves right here. Making terrific moves. So yeah. Making some moves right here. D Lo could be a six man. Brian. Oh, no. 
to buy a cricket present. Who would try it? Okay, so we go keep so keep Lori and my uh, I keep it bobo because like we are unbeatable for this team. I'll let I could give you some more minutes for because Jimmy Butler is Butler again. For the team, yes. No three the same. Let's go. I think I'm ready for me to run again. I think I'm ready to make a run. At this time, direct your attention to center court for the award ceremony. The head coach is Steve Kerr.
Thursday for a long time. It's opening day in the NBA. Thanks, everyone, for joining us here in the start of a new season. Our game tonight featuring the Golden State Warriors as they go up against the Phoenix Suns. This is Kevin Harlan, and by my side, Greg Anthony and Brett Beer, and from the sideline, David Aldridge. So the opening lineup for the Suns. Booker and Bridges are the wings. Then it's DeAndre Ayton, and it's Ruiz in at the four spot. And for the Warriors, Curry and Poole are the guards. Jimmy Butler is out there at bowl, and it's Bryant in at center. And opening day is here. So, what are these players right now, Greg, feeling as they tip off this brand new season? Mostly excitement. I mean, this is their first chance to showcase all the hard work they put in during the offseason. Now, Bridges after the missed three from Stephen Curry. Butler with the ball. Over Bridges. And Butler gets it to go. I don't think the defense expected Jimmy Butler to rise up from there. He can do that. Now here's Booker. Here's the three. Launches it. It's rebounded by Curry. And so Curry will bring it up for Golden State. This, of course, their first time matched up with the Suns. And they usually came out on top when these two teams faced off last year. No surprise, they're the better team. And so here's Phoenix following the score by Golden State. Here's Ruiz. Phoenix keeping it alive with a new 14. Booker with no one around. Phoenix no good that time either. That's 0 for 4 now. Time to slow it down and maybe get the best possible shot the next time down. Curry against Lynn. Curry's shot is good. Stephen working hard on the inside that time to get his shot. For Phoenix, they've gone 0 of 4, missing their first four field goals. Hooker the pass to Ruiz. Booker looking around. Off target from three-point range. Yeah, slow start right now. Five straight misses to get this one going. Left side, Bryant. From deep, marries the long-range jumper. Man, right off the bat, super sharp here offensively. Four of five so far. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Back to Flynn. Eight in a screen on Kirk. Flynn. And that time, also a missed shot. Man, you get so caught up in the bravado of someone scoring on you and you wanting to even the score. Unfortunately, he couldn't answer back. And he's good on the three ball. Curry's got five now. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. And one of the many special things about Steph Curry, his loyalty. Sticking with this Warriors franchise since being drafted back in 09. And the Suns call their first time out of the game. All right, a chance to check out stats for Devin Booker. He's coming off an excellent season. He was around 31 points per, five assists and four rebounds. And you love how he facilitates their offense. Just a terrific decision maker. So many times it's with the extra pass, and man, he's delivering. And talking about Steph, he is the face of the franchise. And his loyalty is shown. Steph's been a model citizen, never complains, never causes any issues, willing to work with young teammates. He is the ideal superstar to build around. And it's the Suns with the ball after the Warriors pick up three. Here's Ruiz. And again, it's the Suns missing. And it's the Warriors' ball. They're rolling here on a 15-point run. Butler from outside. And another three for Golden State. 
Yeah, great outside shooting, really fueling this run. On the wing, Bridges. And it's sent back by Bryant. All the length of Thomas Bryant involved in that block. Well, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. Butler from outside. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Butler's got his third bucket of the night. Twelve straight points off of three-pointers, and the D shields. And the Suns call time here. Suns with a completely new group on the floor. With this stoppage in play, we have a chance now to show you which teams led the league in three-point percentage last year. The Warriors, number one. You know, they went through stretches when they just didn't miss. From beyond the arc, I mean, that carried them right to the top of that list. One fifty-three left to play in the first quarter. The pass to Okogi. Five to shoot. And again, it's the Suns missing. Well, he wants that one over again. I guarantee that. Nobody's even in the neighborhood. Curry outside. And another three for Golden State. And how about the last five made shots? Have all been threes. The defense is just giving up a barrage. Bradley can't get it to go. Hands of Bryant will bring it up for Golden State. That's a two from Butler. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. Here's Bradley. And he can't stop this drought. Another miss. And here are the Warriors now. The three from Poole. Knocks down the three ball. Poole's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for the Warriors. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. Bradley kicks to Pascal. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. And I like the back and forth here, showing confidence from Rain. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Bradley can't get it to go. Six-second difference between shot and game clock. Now, here's Poole. He's guarded closer. It's the three-point bomb. Poole's got 11 points. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. And here's Bradley, still looking for his first bucket in this one. Here's the teardrop. From outside, off the mark. It's been all about Stephen Curry for the Warriors. He delivered nine points from three-point range that quarter. Terrific work from distance. Right back after this break. been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Warriors. Uh, they look to fire as much as possible from outside the arc and so far they are hitting at a high clip. They've done a great job tonight of getting out in transition so that focus on fast break that will 
add to your total in a hurry. Just thinking aloud about the best teams of my lifetime, that 2017 Warriors are way up there. That first year, KD was with Golden State. On the court right now, second quarter starting for the Suns. Booker and Bridges are the wings. Then there's eight, and it's Ruiz in a power forward position. There's Russell with the three. It's good from long range. Russell's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep. And the title winning 2017 Warriors, Brent Berry, what made them special? Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green. I mean, all these guys in their prime, Kevin, but to me, it's what Steve created there stylistically. The fact that they played. So much freedom, so much enjoyment. Uh, you don't see that all that often. And so the Warriors reaching the crown with that kind of consistency and character, that's what made it special. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flames. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. And that one is good. Yeah. Aiton's got his first bucket in this one. Well, Aiton pouring a foundation there on the inside, just living in the paint. Russell fires away from way outside. And another three.
Golden State having a lot of trouble stopping the three-point shot. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thanks, Kevin. It is hard to forget the crazy draft night for Bridges in 2018. Drafted 10th by his hometown Sixers, his mom was an employee with the team. But he was traded an hour later to Phoenix. He says, it was tough, but once I came here, I loved it. The group of guys we had, I knew I wanted to be here. And they are sure glad they got him, Kevin. They are indeed, no doubt. DA, thank you. No good from Booker. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Right side, Russell. Fires for three. Another three for Golden State. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Now here's Booker. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way. Get on the board. Well, Greg, we see it every year. Those overachieving teams in the NBA. What enables them to be greater than the... Some of their parts. Well, listen, luck can play a part, but confidence is a huge factor as well. If you walk into that gym every night believing you'll find a way to win, oftentimes you do. Here's Russell. Devin Booker picking up that last basket. And it's Butler missing. against Booker. Pass to Flynn. Aiton a screen on Russell. Down low. And Aiton throws it down. DeAndre Aiton dangerous in the pick and roll just because as a big he can get off of that screen so easily. Warriors have gotten all but one of their seven shots in the second quarter to drop. Pretty impressive. And that one's good. Russell. And that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Flynn kicks to Bridges. Aiton sets the pick for Bridges. The shot, no good. Good D by Drummond. Boy, a fierce competitor. Jimmy Butler puts his heart and soul into the game. Uh, not a lot of opponents or players in this league that are going to outwork Jimmy Butler, and he does. He impacts the game in, in so many ways, and he's all about winning. Flynn misses. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. And a moment now to check out who the Warriors have coming up on their schedule. On Friday, they'll be matching up with Nikola Jokic and the Denver Nuggets. Then on Sunday, they'll be facing Kyrie Irving and the Los Angeles Lakers. Sun shooting the ball beautifully in the second quarter. They're at 55% for the field. Inside. And it's Aiton missing. Uh, for him, it's harder to miss that shot than it is to make that shot. I think he was anticipating a bit of a bump there. Here's Russell with a three. Another three for Golden State. Well, you can tell right now the teammates are scanning the floor to find him and feed him. Why not? He's on it right now. Pass to Ruiz. Aiton sets the pick for Flynn. Look, no good. They had a chance to end the run there. This has not been a good quarter right here. Shot has been off the mark, and now it looks, Kevin, like he's pressing a bit. 
Hustle with the bucket. D has been just completely helpless and turned around. He's so dangerous when he's in this kind of rhythm. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. And the Suns miss again. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. Frustration seems to be mounting here, and you can see not just in their faces, but right now in their quick and hurried shot selection. Here's Booker after D'Angelo Russell's bucket. Ayton and Ball pulls it down. Well, that mid-range J usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. Russell against Flynn. Let's it fly from 18. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. It took a little bit of time, but now he's taking the pen off the cap and putting his mark on this game. And there's Bridges on the assist by Booker. Bridges got his first points of the game. Booker's all-around game is really coming together. Nice play there. To the right side. Butler way outside. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. A dominating first half of basketball, and so far, hasn't been close. Warriors ahead. Oh, all right, David, thank you. We'll be... Hey, everybody, nothing like a little trade news to perk up your day. We'll take a look first at some transactions around the NBA. He's a player with toughness who expects the same from his teammates. Jimmy Butler brings with him a powerful presence. He can change your culture. But the guys around him will have to be ready to work, or this could go sideways. Moving on, D'Angelo Russell was tremendous in the first half. He's hitting all the buckets. When you got a guy this hot, just got to let him do his thing. Yeah, no question. His thing is working, running wild. Thank you for being with us. Now let's send it to Kevin Harlan for the second half tip. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. It's been a clinic out there with D'Angelo Russell. Yeah, and through the first two quarters, he has been the offense for this team. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. So with Curry sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. You've got Russell. Hole is out there with Andre Drummond. Then there's Jordan Poole. And it's Butler in at the three, the small forward. And Russell puts up a deep three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Russell's got the first basket. Of the second half here for the Warriors. Well, Phoenix shooting around 24%. Not a good showing here. Eight and a screen on Poole. And here's Booker from the arc. The Warriors pull it in. Bulls got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass eating. There's Russell with the three. And another three for Golden State. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Passes it to Aiton. Over Drummond. Phoenix, no good that time either. And out of the gates here in this second half, they have not started well. 0 of 3. Here's Bull. And another 3 for Golden State. How about that? Coming out to start the half, a perfect 3 of 3. The pass to Ruiz. Will it go? Warriors with the rebound. 
Drummond's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. I'm not sure they realize it's not halftime anymore. Four attempts. And they're still looking for their first bucket. <laughs> yeah, ball with the unique combination of height and skill. That's a challenge for any defender. Shots. And that one falls for Bull. Good on both. And like his father, Manu, Bull's combination of size and scoring is very unique. The, the key for him is just staying healthy. Ruiz, the pass to Flynn. On the wing, Bridges, defended by Butler. Back to Bridges. Three on the clock. The Suns need to get a shot off. Booker. Nice shot from the wing. There you go. Finally getting one to drop. They have to be a little better now, starting one for five in this half. And here's Poole for three. And it's Aiton with the rebound. And after burying three straight shot opportunities, finally a miss there. Still feeling the momentum, though. Flynn against Russell. Flynn misses. With him struggling tonight, they need to find some other options out there to keep themselves in the game. Butler from outside. For three. Phoenix grabs the miss. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And Aiton throws it down. Does it feel good as a big man like Aiton to throw it down? You bet it does. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Of course, the Warriors' offense stands out for its emphasis on ball movement. Coach Steve Kerr says if you get to touch the ball and be a part of the action, whether it's as an assist man, ball mover, shooter, dribbler, the more people who are involved in the offense, the more powerful it becomes. Kevin, strength in numbers, indeed. As has always been the case for his offense, the more the better. It's worked for him. DA, thanks. Here's Booker. Again, Phoenix. Booker. How smooth is Devin Booker's J right there? And inside the arc, he nails it. Booker against Poole. A three-pointer off the mark. Phoenix is gone. An 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. To the wing on the left. From the arc. A nice Ruiz. shot by Ruiz. Three points. Ruiz. has got five points now this quarter. Pretty much not a player in the league is going to pass up a shot like that so much for the defense. Russell fires away from way outside. And they get it back. Here's Bull. Sinks the three-pointer. Bull's got eight points. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, pretty infectious right here guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. And no matter what they've tried, the D just has not been able to deny them the ball inside. After being selected first overall in the 2018 draft, some teams question if DeAndre Ayton was worthy of that. Well, it took time for Ayton to find his comfort zone and all of a sudden became a key piece that nobody's questioning much anymore as an inside rebounder, rim protector, guy who can score at a high level when asked to. Warriors have gotten six of their 12 shots to drop for him here in the second half so far. There's Russell with the three. Connects again from distance. He's really sniping him from outside. Locked in, feeling confident in that three-point shot. Pass to Ruiz. Ayton inside. 
Defended by Drummond. That one, no good. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Thirty-four seconds left to play here in the third. Outside Russell, and they double up Russell. The three from Poole. A three-pointer is right on target. He's got 17. Well, if he's hitting shots from there, he becomes so much more dangerous. Booker in the corner to stop the run. The shot's good on the assist by Flynn. Flynn's got four assists now tonight. Not sure which clips they watched at halftime, but he has figured out how to attack the D, and they kept him in check in the first half. He's flipped it. Drains it from beyond the arc. Bulls got 14 points now in the second half. Bottom line, you need shooters on your team who can space the floor. Well, there's no doubt he's a legitimate threat from downtown, and he's demonstrating that in this game. And so it's the Golden State Warriors enjoying the kind of gigantic lead you almost never see. And with as many three-pointers as they've drained, it's easy to see why they're on the cusp of a blowout. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And a moment ago, inside the huddle with head coach Steve Kerr. Defense has been fantastic. Great defense, offense, simple passes will get it done, right? You guys look great, though. Keep the pressure on. Paying his guys respect they deserve. Likes what he sees. I like that message. And, Kevin, it's so important to praise your guys when they're playing well. Coach...
understands how critical it is That's to recognize game. good effort. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Well, Phoenix shooting 32% overall right now, not one of their better showings. On the court now for the Suns, getting going here in the fourth. Kelly Olenek is out there with Eric Pascal. Then there's Bradley. Then there's Reed. Bradley passes to Pascal. Off target with his three. And it's Butler with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. They'll host the Denver Nuggets after this one. They'll find themselves in the middle of this string of three straight at home. Drummond trying to get himself free, and they get it back. Russell with the bucket. With the finish line in sight, this guy is determined to be the one to put the game away. Brett, we've seen star players continue to angle their way onto what some would call super teams. Uh, is that good or bad for the league? Well, I think at some point that's going to probably play itself out. I mean, every organization, Kevin, quite frankly, is looking for the best talent they can. So if you could pile up three, four, five, you're going to do it. But at some point financially, it just doesn't make sense. So. I think there's going to be a time when you're going to see that dissipate a little bit as teams put themselves together. Pascal kicks to Reed. To end the run. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Bulls got rebound number 15 here tonight. A drive by Russell. And it goes down two points. Russell's got 48. Down the stretch, he's been flat out. Awesome. He helped them get the lead, and now he's making sure they keep it. Pascal with a screen on Russell. Bradley passes to Pascal. Count it. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. Now a timeout called by Golden State. And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game. D'Angelo Russell. Man, his performance has been a jaw dropper. He must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. He's played up to his full potential tonight, and he's been playing to the crowd, too. He loves being the star attraction, even if it doesn't happen on a regular basis. Golden State's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Curry way outside, and Pascal pulls it down. The Suns have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Puts up a three, and Bull pulls it down. Bull's got his 16th rebound on the night. Curry fires from way outside. It's hauled in by the Suns. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. Well, I thought they played smart, and then all of a sudden it was maybe a little too flashy there, and that uh, that's unfortunate. The Warriors have gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting at even 50% from the field. Three-pointer makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals, five for eight in the game. Well, to have a soft touch is one thing, but to do it from 25 feet, come on, Stefan. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Greg, you think of everything that goes into making it to the NBA as a play. Did it come easy for you, or was it all work? It's easy, really, to overlook the grind, but when you love the game, all those hours in the lab don't feel quite like work. At least not until you start getting a little longer in the two. Akogi's checked in for the Suns. On offense, here are the Warriors. They're on a 12-4 run. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. There's the pick. Curry from deep three-point land. 
Another three for Golden State. Not shot from outside. There, there's no doubt about that. Spreading the floor and hitting them up. Out to the wing. Akogi for three. Andre Drummond grabs the miss. Drummond's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. And he converts the layup. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Pass to Pasco. And he drives in and foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. First personal foul. It's on Jimmy Butler. Yeah, easy call. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. No adjustments made by the other team, and they couldn't defend against the speed of this group. They've been running over them in this one. And another difference maker that we could point to tonight has been second chance points. They've been in there, they've had active hands, they've been in great position, and they've been smart attacking the offensive glass. Phoenix has gone ice cold from three point land, 0 4 since the start of the final quarter. Here's Bradley. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. 158 left here in the fourth quarter. The Warriors have gotten exactly two thirds of their shots to find the bottom of the net here in the fourth. Eight of 12. A three for Deep Vincenzo. Another three for Golden State. Well, and this has been their strategy throughout the fourth period. We'll see how it pans out. It's one thing to have teams shoot a bunch of threes, but with this team being that hot defensively, you got to chase them away from anywhere near that line. Bradley. And again, it's the Suns missing. Warrior shooting has been sensational. 75% for the game. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Warriors. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like... Like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And they'll take the win tonight, setting the tone in the first matchup of this four-game season series. And we watched one guy all night long, guys. And, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for D'Angelo Russell. Every time he shot it, it seemed like it was going to drop in. And if it didn't, everyone was surprised. A Kogi, the pass to Brantley. Floats one. And he uses the glass on the layup. Well, he seems to be in the right place at the right time more often than anybody that's on the court here tonight. You see that pay off. And it's good from the elbow. An impressive job by the players coaches and don't discount the impact of these fans awesome to see their output tonight trying to urge their team on and that can always help that that home advantage of home fans getting you going fully on display here wide open look and ball pulls it down butler from outside gets the bucket so we see the warriors taking the game here they won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Jimmy. You guys had it going from long range. When that happens, how does that affect the offense? Uh, well, when they're making shots, it's opening the lane for us drivers. Um, and we just want them to continue to shoot with confidence. Um, everybody on this team, no matter if you make it or miss it, we need you to shoot it because that's what the game tells you to do. Keeps the floor spread, man. Thanks very much. Back to you guys. All right, David, thank you. And that about does it for the first game of the new NBA season. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. We'll see you next time.